Rolling, three, two, one, action. Okay, so now let's talk about the basic operation of the joiner. Uh, again, the on-off switches are here. Once I push in on the off switch, I can't turn the machine on. I have to pull out on that off switch in order to enable the on switch. I am going to join a couple of pieces of wood. And if you look down at these pieces of wood, let's say I want to join two pieces of wood together. I need a nice, clean surface on both sides in order to join those two pieces of wood. You can see that's an ugly mess. I'm not going to be able to join those pieces of wood. I'm going to run them both through the joiner, and then we'll look again at how clean a joint we can get there. Turn on my dust collection system. Confirm that my dust vent is open. Safety glasses. Then I'll turn on the machine. I want to be tight to the rear fence. As I feed through, I'm providing some downward pressure on the in-feed table. As I feed through, the downward pressure is going to transition to the out-feed table. Now I can tell you that first cut did not cut through everything, so I'm going to make another cut until I get one smooth cut. Listening to the tool, I can hear that I got a consistent cut all the way across. So I've got a nice smooth joint there. I could continue to plane it to get rid of this, but this is just a rough piece of wood. There's nothing to gain. I'll go to my second piece of wood and join it as well. And now let's take a look at how much cleaner our joint got from what we have. Remember the big gaps that we had? That is now a clampable, glueable joint that's gonna come out very nice. That's what the joiner is for. I also know that because I was on this back fence when I made the cut, this face and this newly joined face are exactly 90 degrees. That's what we use the joiner for. Thank you.